Moldy bread discovered in a school lunchroom has an area school district launching an internal investigation. That is so often the case these days. It all began with a photo posted on social media. A student at Cherokee High School in Hawkins County said a friend ate the bread before they realized something was not right. No one is reported being sick, but Jordan Moore found out that's not stopping people from demanding answers. Josh, Sarah, when I spoke to Hawkins County Board of Education Chairman Chris Christian this evening, he'd only known about the moldy bread served in a public school for a few hours and was still trying to figure out how this happened. This in a county that just last year dealt with another incident of out-of-date food being served in school. It was green all over the sides, like little spongy holes of mold and it was just so gross I couldn't I didn't want to eat the rest of my food. This moldy banana bread is the last thing Jessica Fisher expected to see at her lunch table on Monday afternoon. We all looked at it and it was just it was gross. I mean, it's not something I would want to eat. But it was something she couldn't unsee and quickly determined it was actually something she wanted everyone else to see. So she snapped this photo. People need to know about this. Parents need to know what their kids are eating. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. The way Board of Education Chairman Chris Christian described the moldy bread incident may sound familiar. Just last year, the school district had to answer to a room filled with angry parents, wondering why their children were fed six-year-old pork for lunch. The facts of the matter is, if we had meat in our freezers for six years and it was not inventory, that is unacceptable. A nightmare Christian had hoped the school district wouldn't have to relive. We do not, by any means, want to go through what we went through on the pork. Work issues and our staff has worked very diligently. But now, Christian says they are once again investigating what's being served to students in the school's cafeterias. He says in this instance, the banana bread does come prepackaged from their supplier. Every box that we've got in our cafeteria currently was shipped in January. We receive it frozen and it is frozen until it is served. So that begged the question if it's frozen until served, how did it get moldy? That's the most important question that anyone could ask. And that's the most important question that needs an answer. But at right now, I can't answer that. Jordan Moore, News Channel 11, in your corner. Christian said they do have a school board meeting scheduled for this Thursday. As of tonight, nothing on the agenda to discuss this incident. He mentioned that all three students who received the moldy bread were either refunded or given another slice that was free of any visible mold.